Yo, what's up? This is Christopher. I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to add text behind a subject. Now, for this particular demonstration, I'm going to use Affinity Photo, obviously. So I just wanted to mention before I get started, the image that I'm using is an image of Conor McGregor that I found doing a Google search. So let me go ahead and open up Affinity Photo. Just going to show you real quick. This was the image that I started with. As you can see, just a stock image here of Conor McGregor. And this is what I created in Trigraphy. I created this right here in Trigraphy. Thought it looked pretty cool. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to add the text behind Conor McGregor, as you can see here in this image. But yet, it's still on top of the background from the image. So it's kind of like layered in between the background and the outline of Conor McGregor. So let's get started with this. Let me back up here. And I'm going to open up the image that I created in Trigraphy. Now, if you're interested, I'll put a link where you can download Trigraphy. It is free in the App Store. It's a terrific app. As I mentioned in my video, uh, it's one of my favorite photo apps um, on the iPad right now. You know, to manipulate photos and have these little glitch effects and stuff. It's really cool. Um, I love, like, the abstract art. But to get started with, go ahead and import your image into Affinity Photo. And we're going to tap the Layers panel here just to show you that I only have the one single layer. So what I need to do is I need to duplicate this particular background image. And I'm going to tap these three dots right here, and I'm going to say Duplicate. As you can see right here at the top, go ahead and tap that. Now if I come over here to the Layers panel, you will see now that I have two images. So what I want to do is I want to turn off the bottom image here. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck mark that, and then just make sure that I tap again on the top layer right here. And then what we're going to do is, let me shrink that down a little bit. I'm going to grab the eraser tool, which is right here. And I'm going to start erasing the background over here on the side. So I'm going to do a little picture in picture. Yes, I am using the Apple Pencil, but no, you don't have to. You can do it with your finger. It works all the same. Let me go ahead and increase the eraser size here so it doesn't take so long. I'll speed this up. Now what you want to do is when you're doing this, you want to make sure you only erase the background. You don't want to get any of McGregor. This is how you're going to apply the effect. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to get it like right to the edge of him. You just want it close enough to where uh, it's not going to look too terrible once you add the text in the background of the image. So you may need to adjust like the eraser size to get the desired closeness that you may feel. And of course, you can do whatever you think looks good. So let me back that up a little bit. Let me bring this eraser down just a little. Go right here. And I want to start fine-tuning this. I want to get it as close as I can without any overlap of the outline on McGregor. And you want to make sure you don't have any, any of the image left. Another thing you want to make sure is areas like this, we have gaps. You want to make sure you get that. Make sure you erase that as well. Um, you want to give it like this professional look. Uh, I wouldn't mess with the uh, the left arm right here on the right side. Uh, it's a little too close. But you want to make sure you do as good a job of po as possible. So when you're in Affinity Photo, just go ahead and zoom in so you can get as close as you can without any overlap. And what I mean by overlap, I mean you don't want to erase part of his arm you know, part of his head, part of his hair, leg, anything like that. You want to keep a nice outline of McGregor or whatever image you're using. So now that you are good, right here, let's go back over to the layers and we're going to turn the um, bottom layer back on. And you'll notice there, look, look just like the original photo. And we turn it off, we have this. So now what we want to do is we want to delete that and we're going to add a new text layer. So we're just going to select the art tool down here on the lower left. You can go ahead and hide that layer. And we're going to say the art text. And then we'll just tap somewhere in here. Now I want to increase this. So I'm going to put for this particular image, and it's going to vary by image. I'm going to put 150 picks, points. We have different inches, feet, yard, millimeter, centimeter, meter, pixel. I'm just going to do the 150 point. We'll see how that looks. And let's just type in notorious. Actually, I'm going to do all uppercase. Notorious. And then, of course, we can resize this. You can either use the number right here or you can drag out on one of these points to make it a little bit bigger. 
and you can make it fatter, whatever. Now the key to this is finding a good text. So for something like this, you want to find something blocky. So we're going to look and see what we can find here in the font selection. Now, of course, we are kind of limited to what we have to choose from in here because as far as I know, you can't import custom fonts yet. And I'm not sure if that's something that they're going to add. So let's go ahead and tap this. Let's find something blocky in here. One thing I want to mention, yeah, you have to make sure you select all the text to change the type. It's one thing I don't lie, I just can't select the layer and then change it. You have to like make sure that it's all highlighted. So let's go with, how about this scheme? Or how about rock? Well, no, let's go with the scheme. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, no, I don't like that either. Let's try the rock. That looks good right there. So we have a nice uh, serif right there, and it's blocky. And then, of course, we can come over here and add some text effects to it. So if you tap right here just to show you, you have Tech Studio right there. It's the A icon. But if you don't know what that is, just tap that question mark down in the bottom. And let's see. I don't think there's anything I want to add here on the text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the effects. And I'm going to, let's go ahead and make this 3D. And we'll turn 3D on. Oh, you got to make sure you have it selected. So add a little 3D effect to it. And then, of course, we can come into the... 3D layers, and then we can adjust things such as the radius, the depth, the opacity, and then the profile, etc. So I'm, for the radius, I'm going to boost that up just a little bit to give it a little more depth there. I don't want it too curvy, but I want to add a little more depth to it, and, or more radius to it, and then I'll add a little more depth. Maybe I'll bring that like so, and then soften it, soften it just a little bit. Then I'm going to come over here to the profile, and then you can adjust this. Something like so. I think that looks good. So let's see what we have here. Let's go ahead and hide this effect. And then now we have Notorious here uh, with a little bit of 3D effect added to the image. Let me just zoom in on that so you can see that text there. And maybe we could add a little blur. We don't want that much. Just a little bit of blur. Another thing we could do is we could change the opacity of the text. We'll bring the opacity down just a little bit. Maybe like, say about 80. Right here. All right, now let's go ahead and open up our layers panel. Let's go back to the layer option. Let's turn this on. So what we need to do is we need to bring the text right here, and you want to put it in between the two backgrounds. So then we turn this on, and then now we have the font. Of course, what I would like to do with this is let me – I'm going to open up the Color Studio just to show you real quick. Color Studio is up here at the top. Just wanted to show you right here and then what we do is we want to change the color of this to white I want to bring it more to like a yellowish white so another thing you can do you notice that I have the double arm so what I've done is I've tapped here on the layer and I've enlarged the this particular layer just to give it a little offset from the top image another thing you could do that looks really cool is tap the effects here and add some blur so let's come up here and let's add just a little bit of blur to that not too much maybe like so let's zoom in on that there now we have Notorious, but there you go. I don't like, I, I don't particularly like this uh, particular font selection right here. I probably wouldn't use it, but just for this demo, it's fine. But uh, that's how you add text behind the subject, but on top of the background. If you have any questions or comments about how to do this, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. The way in which you destroy a font is get him to destroy himself.